वेलकम बैक गाइस टू ब्लॉग थ्री सो लाइक यू नो ऑलमोस्ट सेवन डेज वी कूड एंड अपलोड एनी वीडियो बिकॉज ऑफ द हैक ऑफ द अकाउंट एंड फाइनली टूडे वी कैन अपलोड अ वीडियो सो फाइनली इट हैपन सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन वी कैन कंटिन्यू आर लर्निंग जर्नी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स लुक इन टू द मार्केट टूडे सो वेल निफ्टी हैज All right so Nifty has opened here it's actually a gap down if you see it has opened at this area okay and then it has gone up to this point and then finally it has reversed basically and um, still the market is in the same range of 30 minutes so yes market has reached the upper band of Bollinger so automatically it has come down it has a taken turn from there and currently it is in a downtrend yes market has a big down over here okay the gap is big but again it depends on all other uh, situations so either depends on your singapore nifty or else i would say or all other performance of our stocks bank nifty which impacts more is also coming down so somewhere there is an impact because there is a lot of results which came yesterday so um, you know people psychology of people they are digesting the uh news according to their own perception so few people think it is you can just go and read on all these stocks whichever news came so few people say it's good few people when we see normally we feel it is a uh, loss but they will do some calculations let's say quarter on quarter basis or year on year basis they see some other improvements or they would say the price is already discounted and the future business is going to be good so based on these informations the stocks will react so yes either if you're good if you're strong at fundamentals i think that will help you that's what when i was learning a little bit of fundamentals i'm getting a proper uh, catch on these things uh, apart from that technicals like you know it is in the top area itself so so checking out nifty uh, nsc india nifty top 50 we have indus bank as a top stock and negative side we have nestle india i think nestle india had a good profit i think and i don't know why it is going down but depends on people psychology intraday so anyways uh, if you see indus bank and nestle india but somewhere uh, the market is 0.29 or somewhere currently 0.36 so this is the real time this one will take some time to update so let me just try to refresh okay so but you see 32 stocks are in advances and 18 are in decline so somewhere the you know the stocks were in positive because of the market reversals these positive stocks are getting into negative zone percentage wise also if i see losers are less compared to gainers still now it can change any time so it's all in market it's all timing okay so in case you want to see my system timings you can see the chart lot of people want to know what are the timings we are doing it so you can just see over here so these are the timings below when we trade uh, when we put this 5 minutes chart it will be more easy for you to understand we are in 10 o'clock 10:20 10 o'clock so see read this below information if you are not aware about zeroda so if i look into for example let me put few top stocks in my radar let's say indus bank i'll just put here let's say i'm putting it somewhere here Okay, I'll just add Indus Bank, and uh, I'll just add few of my stocks of BHEL. I know the stock is small. So currently, I just opened Indus Bank. Uh, the market is falling anyway, so Indus Bank will correct itself to the down. So RSI look, looking at RSI, it is around fifty four on the five minutes chart, whereas a stochastic is uh, how much? it is now crossing the negative 40 so yes there will be a down journey and there will be a shadow below so you see a shadow like this right so there's a shadow below in this stock it's a top stock in nifty 50 as of now so there is a down shadow has to be created and later it has to cross above 40 and then depending on the market now if market continues to go down then i would not take a position and if you see bollinger it is still halfway so taking a turn from here buy is little bit like 50% risk for you right so rather if i get a position a little more down from this area somewhere closer to the lower band then i would try to take a position from the lower band so that i can you know book some scalp some money okay obviously you cannot find all logics in this okay because this is not a fundamental analysis intraday is all, all about scalping and speculating right So let's give the market some time to settle down because the market is a bit volatile like you see it is trading in the almost same area okay from morning 
So let's give some time for market to settle either positive side or negative side because all the stocks in India is in India overbought or oversold zones. So if I'm trying to take advantage on them, it is pretty difficult. I mean, I can do it, but the risk is high. Uh, it's not that we can't hit 0.3, we can hit a 0.3, but when you take some chances during the small market, you know, value of market is moving only very less. Stocks tend to move very less. When I say very less, it tends to move in the same range. Now we see Bank Nifty is coming a bit of positive. So it is volatile. It is going in the same range of morning itself, up and down, up and down. So during this time, Indus Bank and all these banks related stocks tend to move based on those. Okay. So now stocks, for example, Indus Bank. So Indus Bank also may correct if Bank Nifty is going up. So waiting for an opportunity from below is what I told you. So it has to go below 40, which has not yet happened. So obviously I don't want to take a risk from the middle of this Bollinger Band. And what if it continues to come down till this lower band? So patience is the key here. I will just wait for these particular stocks to come up. So if you see the market um, is very volatile, it is in the same range also. Somewhere it is going up and down. It has not yet covered the 30 minutes levels also. So the closing is not outside the range of first 30 minutes. So still there is no proper confirmation. I think there is two more minutes for this candle to get over. Okay, so meanwhile, let's look into Bank Nifty. Nifty Bank is volatile again. It was a green, green and red candle. Now again, the red candle has been pushed by the buyers. So the buyers are dominating as of now. So if I look at my other screens, okay, let's look at options, okay. Okay, so equity derivatives, top 20 contracts. I don't want Nifty, I want Bank Nifty. So we have CEPE, so CE is 22,500, 30th July. So I think tomorrow is expiry. So what is this? Um, 22,500. Okay, so 22,500 is the one CE. And what was the put option? 22,000. Mm, PE, right. Okay. So I'll just close all these stuff to make it more easy. Okay. Let me go to five minutes chart just to understand what's happening. Let me just slowly put it to Haikanashi. Uh, not a single signal yet over here. Uh, this is CE and let's say PE. All right, in the put option in the morning, we had an opportunity, a small opportunity over here. Very early it is 9.35, okay, so yeah maybe the market was still positive to negative negative to positive and there is no much clear confirmation like i told you it is either positive negative positive negative there is no strong buy and sell over here uh, because even if you see bank nifty is also in the same it is like neutral you see 0 0.18 and my negative it was now it has gone to positive so it's gone to positive it has come to negative it has come to uh, again small neutral positive so you see it's not strong you don't see a proper signal in nifty bank itself so when nifty bank itself is not giving a proper levels let's say overbought level or oversold level it is a little bit difficult now morning it had reached to the you know overbought level over here in stochastic and then from there in rsa also you see it's in the top from there there was a short uh, opportunity over here so when it is falling you know pe that is put option put option has a chance to go up so you see there will be some opportunity over here you see this candle here was an opportunity here some maybe 139 you would have hit a profit of three four rupees let's say 140 somewhere here only in these candles only you could have booked because this is five minutes candle understand the difference don't see a single candle and say it's candle two candle went up and it came down it's five five ten minutes the stock has moved so you need hardly seconds to book your profit so if you put your target and leave then don't need to bother about it but yeah like i told if market is not performing great if market is not one direction then there will be a difficulty to take that direction that's the reason i say always go with the market even though your speculation goes wrong because of the market direction because of that external push of other stocks your stock or your contract which you are looking into will tend to move so currently 
no such signals here no such signals over here no clear signals no proper entry uh, going to our index bank index bank is like looking like recovering but the high of index bank is uh, very far away that is 564 so somewhere it is uh, not a proper entry to enter so I have a stock which is falling. Uh, it's there's an event on it also. So before to that, I will just check what is the event going on on this particular stock. So fundamentals, events, earnings release expected on 30th July. That is tomorrow is the earnings and this stock is currently falling. So there is some volatility in this stock. So if I look at the graph of this stock, okay, it has already come down. It's recovering up. Next rally to down, or else I would I should get a short signal from the top over here stochastic then only i will go for a shot or else i would say let me put a candle for better understanding i would say my entries will be somewhere from these breakout okay this is the lowest point of the stock if this is breaking it's going to be a strong support if this is breaking it's good or else if stochastic is going up within 12 o'clock and then giving me a sell position from there then definitely i will consider that so before to that, let me do a drawing over here. Horizontal line is enough. So, so let's say this is the peak. So this is my sell point of this particular stock. So sell, uh, what is the low? Uh, it is around 1436, one, right? So I'll type this number here, 1436.50, okay? So rough calculation in case market falls, continues to fall, then this stock will have an effect. And from here on, I will try to take an advantage of breakout from that point three percent age is what i will look for um apart from that yeah stochastic has to reach top uh, then later give a signal to below market if it stays negative i will take a negative entry that is a short entry okay so i'm just finishing my breakfast uh <clears throat> i said it was a uh, long day for me i had gone for my marriage shopping and all those so I didn't get enough sleep. I'm actually feeling sleepy a bit. I have my sessions from 12 o'clock also today. So let's see. Um, yes, the number of students have reduced finally. Uh, it's getting over the old students. So hoping in, yeah, hoping I get a lot of time later part. Uh, I got one more stock here. Uh, if you see NIIT, yeah. So this stock, I see the stock in the peak, okay, but there is a resistance getting created sliding down like this you see this you can start drawing along with me and learn along with me it's just a speculation whoever draws any lines or any type of ascending or descending type of triangles anything it is just a speculation okay so most people capture it we try to enter there and if most people are using it we become successful or it will fail okay nothing is 100 percent right in technicals so drawing may differ maybe i'm drawing here someone would draw for a one hour candles i'm currently drawing for a five minutes candle so somewhere this is becoming a resistance point for this particular uh, stock that is niit um nit tech okay so either it has to break this point okay that is one price action method to enter but technicals are showing that it is already in the peak uh, stochastic is coming a bit down still 24 it has a chance to come down overall if you want to enter you can go for an overall high breakout that is the peakest point this is the peakest point i guess so that is also an entry over there indus bank also is looking to correct itself but the peak is very far away so currently i, I don't have an opportunity but if i see a stock spiking suddenly that's when I go and capture. So monitoring multiple stock is very, very important. So it's not like you take one stock and you wait for the stock whole day. So you analyze the situation. The situation keeps changing. What you saw around, let's say 10 o'clock, we were seeing the market situation. The market situation has changed now. So your thought process also has to change according to it. That's the reason I say if you learn one strategy from somebody because of the market situation changing, it will not be 100% right. But if you learn the art of, you know, predicting the stock during the market situation, if you learn that is when you can predict any situation. At least I, I'm not saying you'll be 100% right. I will never say nobody's 100% right here. I'm just saying that you can at least predict most of your time. Things will be better for you. At least you can avoid the wrong trades. All right. So in bank uh, nifty, let's say this is put option, right? So in put option, I see that um, 
Stochastic is going to 48. So yes, uh, opportunity is getting created. I put a high Kanashi over here. Opportunity is getting created. Within 12 o'clock, if you get an opportunity, uh, market is neutral. Uh, it is not a strong confident over here. But it is, in case it goes up like this, a small scalping again, 4, 5 rupees. The stock, how much is this? Premium, 120. So even if you hit 1 rupee 20 paisa, it's like 1%. So if you hit 2, 3, 2, 3 rupees or 4, 5 rupees, if you hit 5 rupees also, it's like 4 to 5 percentage profit on this particular contract. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, both are going in equal hands if you see the value of premium so this is the most traded one so if you see 94 uh, lakh is the volume so contracts traded today over here is 95 so both are the best traded uh, contracts in options so that's good to take that because when you enter and exit you should have enough quantity so opposite order should be there right so that is the reason we try to take a top contract and then analyze the bank nifty's direction and based on that we will use some technicals to understand where can i enter where can i exit okay all right so if you see the nifty is again in the neutral zone okay just dancing between these areas bank nifty has gone somewhere positive so therefore you see there is a fall in PE option so yes it is going deep over here for a signal anytime if there is a recovery yes that's going to be an advantage but bank nifty has gone positive all right so when bank nifty is positive getting a positive buy on i would say call option that is from this area see this point this is the point of entry in call option where it had to come near 40 as per what we follow like this but before that buyers pushed before this entry itself buyers entered and start pushing it from the levels of 110 to 142 you used to see the movements right so taking from levels is very important see for example you would have taken your position at this level somewhere 152 you would have booked your profit maybe 167 but what if you didn't book your profit i'm just telling you so if it comes down it's a risk so rather taking from the lower levels anywhere from the lower levels it is safer for you or else strictly wait for some uh, buy uh, signals like these from stochastic now remember this uh, indicators are not 100 percent right you can use multiple indicators different people have different indicators so the more number of people use this if everybody buy along with me here that's when the stock can move right so st start using a popular uh, indicators like rsi stochastic which is not that popular like rsi but still a lot of people use it um, so i have one more stock for an entry uh, let's say at this price point so currently the price is around in the peak itself so let's say 183.75 i will try to take an entry in this particular stock over here okay 75 so let's say 183.80 i will enter roughly so 8080 somewhere over here okay 183.80 if it is breaking so there's a small correction in this particular stock somebody has booked their profits so in next rally if it is breaking then i have to wait okay so it depends now once it breaks market is still in negative zone and i'm going for positive side market is like neutral so both the direction will have an advantage so breakout at 80 from here and 0.3% from there will be roughly around 55 paisa or something so yeah you see the entry so it has broken so from 80 if I put 55 paisa it is 35 or something uh, so which is done so it has gone to 40 so as soon as you put your order you put your target so a bracket order or a cover or, or let's say a GTT order for CNC so once it breaks it will touch i'm not saying it should hit immediately in this we were lucky you saw the trade right how i captured it quickly so we were lucky here that's all but later it will enter and take some time it can go like two three candles also it'll go up and down up and down and then finally go up so finally uh, in this case it has achieved the target in uh, adn right okay that's how i call it i'm not sure how it is so uh that is done so this is how i took an advantage in this particular trade so like this uh, one more trade of nit is not broken you see the resistance it is not broken so having certain levels is very important 
जस्ट बिकॉज यू सॉ द स्टॉक इज ग्रीन और टॉप स्टॉक समवेयर इन एन एस सी और विच एवर वेबसाइट यू आर सींग यू शू नॉट ब्लाइंडली गो एंड एंटर सो वेन यू ब्लाइंडली गो एंड एंटर वॉट लैप एन लाइक इंडस बैंक इज स्टिल ओवर दैर राइट सो इट इज इन द सेम रेंज यू सी एंड यू टेक अ टॉप स्टॉक एंड यू से आई टुक अ टॉप स्टॉक निफ्टी वॉज ग्रीन और यू से आई टुक अ नेगेटिव स्टॉक निफ्टी वॉज यू सी दिस पी ई एल वॉज अ नेगेटिव स्टॉक राइट सो यू टुक अ नेगेटिव स्टॉक बट यू नो द स्टॉक इज गोइंग अप और इट इज गोइंग द सेम रेंज इट इज नॉट इवन गोइंग डाउन सो यू शुड हैव सर्टन लेवल सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ लेवल ओवर हियर एंड एन आई आई टी आई शोड यू अ लेवल ओवर हियर एंड इंडस बैंक तो इट इज गोइंग साइड वेज एंड द हाई इज टू टोटली फार एंड एडियंट इज समथिंग विच वी सॉ नाउ विच फाइनली ब्रोक एंड हैविंग अ लेवल एंड टारगेट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस टेप ऑफ मार्केट हैविंग अ टारगेट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज uh morning you saw how market was going up and suddenly it came down so when the stock goes 1 2% you will be excited thinking it will be going up today but you saw the result it started coming down so booking your profit with your target in your mind will help you to finish your trade now for example you see here if case you missed your target in this candle this candle went up to 40 now you see it is going to 40 right 45 so 40 yeah so when it came to 35 you would have booked your profit so keeping your target is very important later after this now you can see this one may going up or next two three candles or maybe after half an hour one hour this will be going up it will be breaking and going and you may feel bad now see again it's gone to 45 so you may feel bad it is going up and up did i book early profit no because there are days when the stock will touch and reverse and never come up okay remember those days also so that's the reason i say paper trade uh, observe the market so that is when you will learn a lot of lessons uh, from the market our uh, options uh, options 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 so let's say i want to this is a negative let's say overall market is negative and bank nifty is a bit of positive um still i have not got a confirmation here for a buy okay i know the green candles has started in haikanashi but it is going a bit flat you see the stochastic when this green candles started somewhere they should have got a proper uh, you know push to go up but the levels are going a bit sideways and this one is the candles are not strong it is not breaking its own high till now let's see how it goes because there is no much negative impact as of now bank nifty you see it's already in the overbought zone from there a correction is happening you see this correction is happening so if bank nifty is coming down put option will go up that is the logic right so if in this case this also has to come down right so see this call option this is call option which is trying to come down so put option is the opposite so put option is this so we need a buy entry because you need very less money to buy um for selling you need big money right anyways i will wind up my session because 12 o'clock the time is almost now 11:15 11:18 in my clock so i have my classes from 12 o'clock so i have to go freshen up and get ready a bit So yes I will close my trades for the day so considering we got a trade in adient that's how I call again so we got a trade there point 3 so we are done so no other stock broke the level as of now the time is heading towards 12 o'clock so if I'm not getting anything by 12 o'clock then I will not push myself to trade and uh, bank nifty I think hardly 30 40 minutes left for this to give a signal now it's almost reaching a deadline of 12 o'clock so I don't want to take risk as of now uh in case it gives a signal all the best for that uh, normally i don't consider my trades after 12 o'clock or 11:30 is like a deadline in my mind already getting a signal i try to finish my trade by 12 o'clock that is what i mean so anyways the market is bit choppy so taking much advantage is difficult in this type of market so i showed you a live example how this market works so start observing the markets every day understand the reality don't get fooled by thinking okay yesterday i got 2% today also i will get 2% from the same stock or top stock it will not happen like that that's the reason i say observe the markets and then when you talk you will make sense right so that is a reality so start practicing and more learning videos to come so i'll be posting a lot of learning videos because i couldn't post these 7 days so definitely i will post a lot of learning videos and such vlog videos i will start continuing so i i saw a lot of people waiting for my third vlog that is this one So yeah finally we have done with it going forward let let me get uh, used to it we will make it more interactive and more uh, informative all right so anyways thank you so much for watching this video please do hit that like button see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye